So here are the updates. Starting off with custom building blocks now available in Google Docs. So for a while we've had the pre-built Google uh, building blocks available in Docs. Now you can create your own custom ones to use across all of your documents. So for instance, I've got a particular one I use for all of my meeting notes. I can have that saved now and just insert it into any meeting doc uh, I use and have that template automatically added. So I really like this feature. So we've got also now what we have is um, uh, the ability to expand and open content within docs. So you now have this new feature which allows you to have sections that collapse and open up, um, which is great for uh, making some sort of lists and checking those off and being able to do that. So really, really great additional feature that we've got in docs. Google are increasing the membership limit for groups. Now, it'd be interesting to know if anyone's ever tried to join 2,000 Google Groups, but if you have, well, good news, the limit is now increasing to uh, 3,000. Uh, combined and direct uh, and indirect memberships are increasing to 7,500 from 5,000. So I'm not sure if I've met too many people who are hitting those limits, but if you are, that's good news for, for you. So in calendar interoperability is uh, always something we want to achieve. And you'll find now that we'll have improved calendar interoperability with Outlook. So if you have a uh, calendar without a out, similar calendar in Outlook, you'll now have default meeting reminders generated in Outlook if the invitation was created in Google and so that you won't miss meetings. Um, and a, a non-Google Google calendar recurring events will be more systematically uh, and actually updated. So we're going to have enhanced calendar op interoperability with, between calendar and Outlook. Yeah, that's good news. Uh, another really useful feature coming, uh, I think this is one that's slightly overdue, is there's now spam protection in Google Drive. So you may have seen it, but uh, Google Drive files can sometimes be used to spread spam or phishing. Uh, now these can be categorized and blocked uh, and reported uh, via the admin console. So really uh, pleased to see this as it's a, it is an attack vector which hackers and spammers and fishers are now using, unfortunately. So I'm excited about this one. So we now have an early access apps facility. So um, what you'll find that within the admin console under your uh, apps, uh, additional Google services, you'll now have an early access apps option. And the first app that we're going to have early access options for is Google Bard. So Google's enhanced AI tool will have a, a, the ability to turn, ma manage that across the domain. So that's really exciting. And there may be new additional features that we get early access to as well that we can also manage through the same, the same space. So um, really excited about that one. Yeah, me too. Um, just been watching Google I.O. And yeah, lots of exciting announcements about Bard uh, and more AI uh, features are coming to Google Workspace, in particular on Gmail and Docs with assisted writing. Uh, so yeah, really excited to see that and uh, I'll definitely be turning it on on my domains. So another Google Chat update. Now you can quote previous messages in chat. So this is uh, going to be a nice feature, particularly for those busy discussions, uh, go, being able to go back and quote an earlier discussion uh, and bring that back to the forefront uh, will be really useful. So uh, yeah, happy to see Google Chat continuing to get lots and lots of updates. And I'm really excited about this one as an admin because I'm now going to have the ability to manage uh, my chat spaces through the admin console, um, see a list of all those spaces across the domain, uh, and be able to take actions such as adding members, changing members' roles, and so on. So really great enhancement around the management of chat spaces, uh, Google Chat rather. Um, so really, you know, Google Chat Spaces and, and Google Chat, so really happy with that one. Yeah, it's good to get visibility of all of those, because otherwise it yeah. can be uh, a bit tricky for an admin to see what's happening with chat uh, on your domain. So this is a, a Gmail security feature, uh, which Google introduced uh, a little while ago. And it's a way for kind of 
authorizing your brand logo uh, as an avatar in Gmail. And it just is another measure to help verify uh, the authenticity authenticity uh, of a message uh, above and beyond just having DMARC and DKIM set up. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend looking into this uh, for your own domains. And then here we've got uh, basically the, the, the statuses that you've got like in a meeting or in focus time that you can set. Um, those, you'll actually be able to see those um, from calendar and they'll appear now in chat. So you'll be able to see when you open up the chat, if someone's in a meeting for, until a particular time or if they're focused. Um, so you'll just be able to surface that and be able to see it, which is really handy. A Google Meet update this time. So Google Meet is now getting full HD, but there are some caveats. Currently, this is only available in either meetings where there are only two people in a meeting. So a bit of a limitation there. And it's only available uh, if you're running a stream from Google Meet. So it's available from there as well. Uh, but currently on calls like this, as far as I know, it's not available yet. But I'd imagine it will, might be so in the future. I think Google are probably just being a bit cautious about seeing how much actual processing power and bandwidth that might require uh, once we've got some more data on that, hopefully uh, expand this. So you can see us all in glorious HD in the future. That's, that was going to be my joke. <laughs> 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 so Apple, Apple push notification service, as you know, you need to have a certificate um, and renew that certificate annually to maintain that, to, to maintain that management of the, the, when you use Apple devices. Uh, and you manage them through Google Workspace. So we're just going to get um, some advanced notification of that now through the admin console um, that will tell you your certificate is expired. You're going to get some warnings at different dates just to make sure you're aware that you need to take action and go and renew that certificate. So it's one of those things that if you don't renew it, your service will cease to work until you get that certificate renewed. Did I switch this away then? What did you? I'm not sure. Okay, we're we're co hosts today, so we both got control. Um, so in this update, you can now set a time period for messages to automatically be deleted in chat. So if you don't want your messages hanging around and don't want to maintain a history on particular chat uh, spaces, then you can auto delete those. I'm just getting into the same place. So yes um so additional smart chips uh, functionality so earlier this year you've seen the smart chips come out as part of the smart canvas um now that's been expanded and you'll see things like uh youtube chips uh available inside sheets um and so you'll be able to add that feature um and have uh smart chips in your google sheets as well right yeah i really like the uh, smart chips features so enhancing tool discovery in docs, sheets, and slides. So starting now, uh, there's gonna be an enhanced tool finder at the top of these Google apps to make it easier to find features within those apps. So if you don't know exactly where that's located, uh, you can just type it into the search and it will find that for you. So really good, especially for users who might be new to uh, Google Docs, sheets, and slides. And we're using the tool this morning. Uh, so we're co-presenting Google Slides in Google Meet. So it means that Peter could add this morning, for example, add me as, an, as a co-presenter, and then we can both control the slide deck, moving that forward back, as you can see. So useful useful tool. It also means that we've got the, you know, the ability to start and stop media that's playing within the presentation as well. Um, so a, ha a really handy update and great for us when we're uh, co-presenting like this yeah really happy to see that we uh had that added this morning so better location context for events and rsvps in gmail so now you can do the same thing as you would in google calendar and directly uh, from an invite in gmail so if you set your physical or virtual location there will be a default join default join method for your rsvp in the future and that's available on all editions of Google Workspace. And you can now turn off the video feed uh, for specific participants during a meet call. This affects your experience. Um, other 
participants won't be notified and, and, and their experience won't change. So, for example, if you didn't want to look at me, you could turn me off, <laughs> switch my feed off uh, for the call. So just another little feature um, around managing your experience within Google Workspace. And I think this is our last update now. Um, we may have covered this one last month as well, but uh, let's just cover it again now quickly. So this is a really useful feature for IT admins. So you can now assign admin, admin permissions to groups. So previously, admin roles, you could just assign to individual users. Now you can assign these to groups as well. So if you've already got a team, uh, a group set up for your help desk team, for instance, you can assign the help desk role to that group. And anyone who gets added to that group gets those permissions in the future. So I see this as being particularly useful for schools who might have very large domains and should hopefully make it a lot easier for you to manage your permission assignment.